Hello everyone, Gene Molina here from Natural Tennis Solutions. All right, so we're gonna work on our delay. Now, this is gonna be working on it at home right now, but um, I've made a few videos already. The first one was on the step and getting our body to come around. So I'm trying to give you certain pieces that will bind together and get you to be more relaxed when you swing and give you a lot more speed and power, but without trying to do it. So my whole goal is to get you to be able to move your body in a certain way that you don't even know you're doing it. I don't want you to know what you're doing. I want you to just do it, right? Just swing and, and, and feel it. And then from there, you can tweak it whichever way you want. So I'm trying to give you the most basic movement fundamentals that you need to swing. So we can use this in baseball. We can use this in any type of sport that you swing, in, in hockey, whatever. Whatever the sport is, you can use this, these movements to actually get you to swing at an object with efficiency, with elastic energy. So right now, um, I, I've gone over the step. And if you remember what the step was from that video, if you haven't watched it, you can go back and, and watch it. It was the uh, ground reaction force in tennis. Um, I think it was example number one, right? So as you go through your stroke, you're trying to turn yourself and you're trying to rotate to the point where your lower body all of this is being pushed out to the right, so it forces the upper body to go out to the right as well. So what I wanted to try to explain here is why this out to the right is what I want you to experiment with. So let's say the ball's coming at me this direction and I'm setting up here. We can swing at the ball this way. We can get the racket to come around and rotate there but that becomes a very flat type of shot. I'm not gonna be able to grip the ball that much because it's just gonna go straight through contact. I know you've heard that, go through contact, but in reality, what's happening with this movement is that our hip is loading up very quickly, and if you can see what's happening to my racket right now, it's moving back and forth in the opposite direction of my hip. So when I whip my hip around, and it doesn't have to be that fast, it can be pretty slow. But when I bring this hip around, the racket is gonna go here. And that would be contact. But I want the contact to be going a little bit out to the side so that it can come back around. And if you can time that, that timing actually grips the ball, it actually creates topspin on its own. Without being taught topspin, you can actually hit topspin with this movement as long as you're really doing the movement the way it's supposed to go. So if you remember, the second video that I sent was the throw, the tennis throw. So I had, you had a ball and you had to turn and you had to throw the ball. And that was just another way to get you to do the ground reaction force. But that one is to add in what's called the delay. So the delay is what we're gonna talk about with this video. And the delay is now, so we started with, this, with the ground force, it started coming from here. All of a sudden we went into the tennis throw and that started using ground reaction force plus the delay, but I didn't tell you that. So now the delay is this mysterious lag that everyone talks about, lag do lag, get lag, it, and, and do you, did you get it? Did, do you understand lag? I don't think many people still understand lag with the explanations that have been out there. Hopefully this will help out. So what I learned is that lag has nothing to do with this and all to do with this and this. So there's a major pectoral muscle here, your chest muscle that attaches to your shoulder. When you rotate your hip back and bring it forward again, that muscle gets stretched. If you leave your arm here, 
and you rotate back and forth, that muscle gets stretched. So when you do your ground force and you push out, if everything goes the right way, you are delaying and you're feeling a stretch here. This is where you want to get your stretch. If you can stretch these muscles, you get your lag. And the thing becomes that you don't have to rush this at all. You can do it so slow. So if I do my ground reaction force plus the tennis throw together, and I try to feel the delay with my racket in my hand, I'm going out and I'm doing this. And if you can notice that my step going out toward, toward the camera right now is going to create the delay here. My racket is set there. It's going to create the delay so that the racket goes out nice and easy. If you try to delay and go through the ball, if you try to delay and go through the ball, you're going to be way too early. Things have to be done later. I know you've been told hit the ball early and to me it's it's a myth. It doesn't exist. Hitting the ball early does not exist. It's actually hitting the ball on time, hitting the ball late. Hitting the ball early does not really exist. On time or late. So on time, and you would think that's really out in front, but that's on time. That's where it should be. Not in front. This is not where it's going to be. It, it, it's, it's on time and sometimes it's lined up with you, sometimes it's a little bit more, but usually, I don't know, my nose is here, racket is about there, so maybe six inches away, like that's how far out in front usually it is. Look at some pictures of the pros, just look up on Google, um, Djokovic contact point, Federer contact point, and the majority of the time you're going to see that it's not that their arm is completely stretched out in front of them right here. The, the arm is out to the side. It's out to the side. It's, it's out in front, but not the way we imagine it. We imagine out in front like this. So try this delay at home. It's, it's pretty simple. Just set yourself up. Try to set up the, the swing to do that and try to really feel whether you're getting to stretch this part of the muscle. If you do it on the left side, if you're a lefty, try to see if you can really get yourself to stretch that part of your chest. If you can do it, then that means you are releasing right. Now, you're ready position with this. If you can start to get this, I guess I'll make another video on it. Um, the ready position is crucial because if you can get yourself to set the arm up in the right spot so you can really go, then you get that. But I'm not going to mess with the ready position yet. Get yourself to do the delay. So if you remember, we're trying to stretch this part here. The step was pushing the leg out and letting the arm go, right? So right now, if I wanna to go towards the camera with this, I'm gonna push out that way. So when I push out with my leg, I'm pushing the arm out towards the camera. I'm trying to go this way. Ball's coming at me this way. I wanna swing out that way. And it should make sense, right? I'm swinging out this way and the racket's squaring up. It's squaring up to where that ball is coming in, not going straight through, going straight through. I want to make sure I'm going out that way. See if you can feel this delay. Remember, it's the upper pectoral. Get there, delay it, see if that comes around. If you can feel that delay, then you're getting more looseness into your swing. If you practice with tightening these muscles, right, tightening them up and going like this, you'll feel the big difference. There's, there's no delay there. There's none. All of it has to come from that. So get that to delay and make it be very smooth. You can still get a little bit of delay if you don't let that leg come around, but the delay comes more when the leg pushes out a little bit because you're using the ground force, you're making the hip move a little faster and you're getting this to stretch out. Um, if you have a little trouble, just you can even start with the arm back already and then set up 
to step and then you'll feel it. You'll feel that if you leave the arm there and you step quickly enough, that delay can happen. All right, work on this delay. Let me know what you think. Obviously you can do this in your living room. Hopefully don't hit any lamps or anything that are around. You can even do it without the racket, right? You can just delay it. I want you to see what, what happens without the racket. So when I push and delay, there's a bounce. The arm comes back and it bounces, bounces back. Watch, ready? See that bounce? That bounce is that delay. So work on it and let me know what you think. See you on the next one.